In the presence of aqueous hydroxide, aldehydes and ketones undergo nucleophilic addition to give hydrates. The process involves the hydroxide behaving as a nucleophile and attacking the electrophilic carbonyl group to push electron density onto the oxygen to produce an alkoxide. This species then deprotonates the water solvent and the hydrate is complete. This step also regenerates hydroxide, so the process is catalytic in base. Since these reactions are run at high pH, the highly nucleophilic hydroxide is present and able to attack the carbonyl as a nucleophile. This reversible step creates a new sigma bond and deposits the negative charge onto the carbonyl oxygen. The second step of the process is a fast, reversible deprotonation of water from the solvent to give the hydrate and also recycle an equivalent of the hydroxide nucleophile. When an aldehyde or a ketone is treated with aqueous hydroxide, a hydrate is formed. The mechanism for its formation involves a nucleophilic addition that is catalytic in hydroxide. When an aldehyde or a ketone is treated with aqueous acid, a hydrate is formed through acid-catalyzed nucleophilic addition. In the first step of the mechanism, the carbonyl is protonated to give a resonance stabilized carbocation, which is now more electrophilic than the original carbonyl. Water from the solvent then attacks as a nucleophile, and a protonated oxonium is formed. Transfer of the proton back to the solvent completes the hydrate formation, and also regenerates the acid catalyst. While hydrate formation does occur at neutral pH, it is catalyzed by acid, which protonates the carbonyl oxygen to make it much more reactive. The enhanced reactivity becomes obvious when resonance structures are considered, and the heteroatom stabilized character of the species is revealed. The electrophilic carbonyl is then attacked by water from the solvent, and a tetrahedral protonated hydrate is formed. Finally, a molecule of the solvent will pick off a proton to give the hydrate and also regenerate the acid catalyst. Aldehydes and ketones therefore react with acid and water to establish an equilibrium with a hydrated species. The process is catalytic in acid and is reversible.